All right, guys. Okay, guys, I'm live. I, um, I'm not going to really wait for people to chime in because I think we're going to get a lot of viewers here in a second. Uh, usually, a lot of people are drawn to once I go live, you could usually you guys start just rolling in. And I love that. I really do love that. It's early Saturday. It's not early. It's Saturday morning. It's about 10 o'clock. And um, I'm doing something that I really do, which is just I'm just going to go off the cuff on something I saw on Facebook. And that is a dog that's available for adoption at one of the L.A. city shelters. So welcome, you guys. I saw 20 of you guys just popped in all of a sudden. That's really, really nice. I'm using a new software here that I've kind of just been getting used to, and that is a software where it allows me to, um, it's like a little studio. So welcome to my studio from your home. Um, I am going to talk today about something that really annoys me, and that's when dogs end up in shelters. And I'm going to, I'm not going to take many questions about this today, um, but I'm going to say hello to you guys from Germany, Rodney, from Baja, all of you guys. And I, I know sometimes when I do this, um, a goofy dad, that's funny. Um, I get a lot of um, comments. So what I want to talk about here is there's a dog available for adoption at one of the LA city shelters. A friend of mine sent it to me and it's a Malinois. So I'm going to put the information for this dog in the description down below. The reason I'm going to do the description down below is because I think it'll probably bite me in the ass if I put, the, put it into the video. And then I'm going to have to take the video down because I think a lot of people are going to want this dog. So all of you guys, I see Chicago and I see uh, Germany and, and Italy and everything. So welcome. Thank you for being here. There's going to be something really valid in this live chat for everybody, right? I'm not going to just make it about the topic. I'm going to talk about several different things. But what I really want to focus on is how a good dog like, show them to you here, um, like this here, watch this. Um, how does this dog end up in the shelter, right? I'm going to get over here. How does this dog end up in one of the LA city shelters. And he is, he's in the city shelter. He um, is available for adoption. He, he's five to seven years old. Obviously shelters never know when they get a dog. They usually look at the dog, make an overall assessment, check the um, uh, teeth and stuff like that. They usually really suck at, 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 at aging dogs. I'm really, I'm good at it. I'm really, really good at it. But, um, and all of you guys here, you know, uh, thank you for all of you guys. So John, you're here. Um, South Florida, I know you got a lot of storms. My mom's in Florida and, and on the West Coast. London. Um, I'm, I'm really concerned about this dog. This dog's name is Rocky. Now look at this dog and tell me this dog does not remind you of my Goofy, right? He looks exactly like my Goofy. So I know this dog didn't come off Craigslist off some crappy breeder or something like that. I, somebody bred this dog and I'm going to show you a lot of stuff here that is going to make a lot of sense to you. Okay, so that's his headshot. Now, um, I found out about him through a friend of mine, but he's also listed on this Facebook page right here, which is the Arf Harbor Shelter. Harbor Shelter is a shelter for the um, LA City shelters, which are kind of doing things differently now. I mean, they're not taking dogs in, you know, per se. They're not doing because of the COVID crap now. You've got, they're not doing, you can't go play with a dog or meet a dog or do any of these things. You have to want the dog. You're going to, you're going to call up, you're going to show up and they're going to hand you a dog, which is a disaster in my opinion, right? Um, and anyway, municipal shelters usually have their hands tied because uh, they have to adopt a dog to anybody who takes it. So um, the sad part is when you get a dog like this guy here, like, like, like Rocky, you end up with a dog that ends up in the wrong home. So I'm going to read to you, I got to pull it over here and um, just bear with me because I'm not the most computer, computer savvy. I'm pretty computer savvy, but not the most computer savvy guy in the world. But I want to read this to you. This is the information on the dog. Okay, this is Rocky, right? Um, and according to the dog interview that was completed by the owner. Now, this is the owner of the dog of Rocky as they dumped Rocky at the shelter, they said, Rocky is very house trained, loves to play fetch with all types of toys. I'm going to start crying here in a minute. No, sit down, come and stay. Friendly, affectionate, playful towards people, loves to be pet, 
lived indoors and sleeps on his dog bed. Now you can tell all that by looking at this dog, right? All of that can obviously be seen by just looking at this dog here. I'm gonna get rid of that. So now leash manners, they say he pulls hard on leash, goes for daily brisk walks and plays um, in yard. So they obviously had a yard, which is good. Now, um, I'm going to keep messing around with this. I'm just trying to figure this out. I don't have a studio producer to do this stuff. Janet's the closest thing, my, my right hand, but she's not here. She's out training Dwayne. So I'm doing this totally. This is totally impromptu, by the way. Um, yeah, we know mouths are not for everyone. This is the point I'm getting to. Okay, so he pulls on that dog experience. Now, here's where we get into this. This gets really interesting here, okay? Um, I'm not really going to take too many comments on this because it's kind of a rant for me, how pissed off I get when the wrong people get the wrong dogs. I think it's really stupid. Okay, here's the dog experience. Lived with two other dogs, a six-year-old female Yorkie poodle and an eight-week-old husky. Now, he didn't live with an eight-week-old husky too long, right? Because an eight-week-old husky would have just gotten there. So he lived with a six-year-old female Yorkie poodle. Because he's five to seven, or they say, um, all right, whatever. He's between five and seven. At first, Rocky seemed to get along very well with the little dog and then started to become aggressive. He attacked the little dog, but didn't need vet care. And I'm assuming the other dog they're talking about didn't need vet care. He was dog tested at the harbor shelter with a similar size mellow dog and appeared friendly. I'm going to see, I'm going to show you that video. First of all, Th that's improper, right? Because the, the owner is saying that th he lived with two other dogs, a six-year-old female Yorker and an eight-week husky. Chances are, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb here, that the husky came in and then there started becoming some fighting and rough play and then the uh, Malinois went after the Yorkie poodle. Um, Malinois and any high-drive dog are generally a prey-driven dog, which means when you put a little dog or something little that's going to squeal and run around them, they're going to trigger off it. Now, if he lived with this dog, it, obviously, he hasn't been attacking the dog for six years, right? We know that for a fact. We, we, it says here, he got along very well with the little dog, then he started to become aggressive. And he attacked the little dog, but it didn't need vet care. And I'm going to tell you something I told a friend of mine. If a Malinois atta attacks a, a, a six-year-old Yorkie poodle, which is a small dog, under 10 pounds, I'm assuming. If a Malinois, this size, oops, sorry, this size, this size right here, attacks a Yorkie poodle, and the Yorkie poodle doesn't need vet care, I can assume one of two things. Either this is the best Malinois in the world, or it's the worst Malinois in the world. And I'm going to extrapolate on that. If he attacked a, a, a six to 10 pound dog and didn't kill it. He is the calmest, most playful, sweet dog that exists, right? And if he attacked it and didn't hurt it, and he couldn't hurt it per se, because he's not able to, then he's a horrible dog because he's, he's not strong enough. But I say that in jest, so please don't give me any snide comments. The bottom line is the dog did not attack this other dog. The dog was playing rough, maybe he was ill-mannered, maybe something, right? But this is a moronic reason to turn the dog. Now the dog, I hope, will be better off and we'll find somebody else. And I will put all the information in the detailed notes down below the video, down here, once the video is up. It's live right now, I'm not putting anything up because if I put something up and later I need to take it down, it's gonna bite me in the ass. And I don't want that. I want this video to be out here because I want you to know why Malinois are not great dogs for all people, but are fantastic dogs for the right owner, right? So I pray to God that somebody will get, will watch this video and will be in the LA area and will be able to take this dog and give him a great home, right? Somebody should give this dog a great home because it's a really nice dog. And I'm gonna, actually, you know what? What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you a couple little videos. I, might, I should wear glasses, but I feel like a dork wearing glasses, so I'm not going to. Watch this video here, okay? No. 
Okay, so you can see the dog plays really nice. Dog's got no real issues. Here's another one. I'll put this over here. Now you can't hear me while while you're watching the video. So. So many other toys at the shelter. So Rocky has to play with this disgusting one. Ah, the things I do for you, Rocky. Ah! Okay, you, you, so you see the, um, the nice way this dog plays, right? Super, super sweet. Now, they introduced the dog to another dog, and the dog did really, really well. And the, the, dog's, the other dog's name is Mama. And you'll hear the, the volunteer narrating how great all this stuff is. So you try to ignore the, the, the narration and just take a look. Now, if the dog had an issue with a little dog and it meets a big dog its own size and a female especially is not going to have any issues, right? The female's going to pick on the male. We already know that. But I'm just going to show you so you can see. And again, it's an improper introduction. Everything about the introduction is improper. Tight leashes, nose nose introductions, all this stuff. But just for, you know, shits and giggles, let's watch it. Rocky with Mama. Rocky's actually very calm. Mama's the more skittish one. So we don't want to push. I'm actually going to just um, turn off the uh, video because I don't want you to have to listen to it. It's painful. So um, yeah, I'm going to mute that. So now it's just, it's, you should be hearing me, I hope. Can you hear, you can hear me through there, right? I know, your heart is broken. I get it. Me too. Okay, so there, okay, they're, now they're meeting nice. He's got a, he's kind of, kind of his head up on her shoulders, but not a big deal. He's going to sniff her. He might be, still be intact. I don't know. I can't tell. He'll be neutered when he gets out of the shelter. But look how gorgeous that dog is, right? This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dog. Tight leash. Everything's wrong, but I'm not going to say anything about that, right? But if this dog doesn't remind you of my Goofy, then, you know, something's really seriously wrong. All right, I'm going to come back here. Hang on one second. So, all right, here I am back. So, um, okay, good, thank you. I'm glad you can hear me. All right, so the dog lived and sleep, slept inside, has a dog bed and all this stuff. He's, you know, um, they said, and obviously appeared friendly to the dog there, but that's a female of similar size. He's not going to pick on that dog if he's a decent dog. Here's my issue. These people got an eight-week-old husky, right? People who get, I shouldn't say that, a lot of people who get huskies are not capable of making great decisions because they're getting a dog based on the dog's looks, which these people did twice. They got a Malinois because based on its cool factor, right? Malinois, are, it's a cool dog, but it's not the right dog for everybody. It's a su super amazing dog. Now, they say that, you know, the main reason for owner surrendering is started to get aggressive towards a six pound, or so six pounds, I said under 10 pounds. Now it's even smaller. It's a six pound, the dog weighs, the other dog weighs as much as the Malinois tail. And these people gave, uh, are giving up this dog. So those of you who are coming in late, thank you very much for being here. Um, I'm talking about a Malinois who is up for adoption at the, at the uh, Los Angeles City Shelter, the city shelters, not the county, the city shelters, and it's at the Harbor Shelter, which is in San Pedro. It's a fantastic shelter. I've trained people there. I've been there several times. Very cool. Uh, employees are very cool there. The management is very cool there. Super, super cool. Now, the other thing about Rocky, I'm going to put Rocky's picture back up because I think we should keep Rocky up there so you can understand um, Rocky's headshot. Um, this dog... He has lived with kids 11, 13, and 15, was very relaxed and playful with the children in the home. He plays exuberantly with kids and adults because he's a Malinois, right? So these idiot people who got this dog had a little poodle, Yorkie poodle, six pound dog, and had these two together. And I'm assuming, looking at the age of this dog, that they must have had him for a while and he, he had a really nice life, but they get the husky. The husky is eight weeks old. If the husky just got into the home and these behaviors just started happening, chances are it's not the Malinois being aggressive towards the Yorkie poodle. It's the Malinois reacting to the puppy being brought in, a pack being developed, going from two to three dogs, and suddenly we've got all these issues that are happening because of mismanagement, because these people are not capable of being 
good custodians of this dog. And this is my issue with these with these dogs. I'm not. I don't say they. Oh, you need to be a professional trainer to have a Malinois. You need to be this. You need to be that. You just need to have a freaking brain in your head, right? If you have a brain in your head, you can have this dog. But a lot of people don't. And the, yeah, I'm going to do a podcast on this. But the social responsibility is completely out the window, right? Nobody is socially responsible anymore. Nobody. The people that just they got excuses, and the fact that they can so simply go and dump this dog in a shelter and think somebody else is going to take it is crazy, right? Because you're assuming that nobody's going to take this this dog and you know and abuse it or whatever because if you go to a city shelter any idiot can get a dog from a city shelter you just walk in and you fill out an application and you got the dog right um and yeah amanda you're right if the dog um had the intention he would have killed the dog that's obvious a nine-month-old husky and hardly okay this is an eight-week-old husky we're talking about so you're, you're off the topic um yeah, okay, so Darla, thank you. You're a musher, so you know. If, when the husky starts needing work, that's going to be the next dog going to be available. They should have just dropped the picture of that dog while they were at it so we know what we're going to be, 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 be going for. Um, and yeah, Joe, it, it's true. There's tons of dogs. And this, here's a really great, great dog. I'm looking at the screen while I'm doing this. Um, so the, the, this dog needs a home. Right. And again, I, I agree with you, Milena, that, that this could turn out much better for this dog. And I'm going to put this vi this video up. It's live now. We only got a couple hundred people watching it, but it's going to go to a couple thousand. I have good keywords. Um, I'm going to put the contact information up for this. I'm, I grade it out when I just put the, the Facebook page because I don't want you, you know, in, in case the dog gets adopted, I don't want people to continue to, to call the shelter. So look at the contact information down below. Once the dog is adopted, I will take the contact information out and I will put a note down that the dog was adopted. But currently this dog needs a home. So if you're in the LA area or you know somebody in the LA area and there's a lot of great people here who are good Malinois trainers, owners, um, uh, whatever, they can definitely give this dog a good home. Share this video, it's long, right? But I'm gonna put the information, the details down below. It looks to me like a very nice dog. Looks to me like a pretty well-bred dog. Really nice dog. Definitely not a crazy high-drive working line dog. Because when I saw the video, the where he was just the person was holding the toy, uh, not a big deal. Didn't start biting at the toy. Has nice leash manners. Um, I could show that again. Um, but if you're in the LA area, right? It, by the way, Theodore, you're asking me should I get this dog. If you're in the LA area and you, you, you think you can give the dog a good home, then think about it, right? You can't ask me, should I get this dog? And if you type it one more time, Theodore, I'm gonna tell you no, because if you're, that, if you're that persistent, you're not doing anything, I'm gonna ask you to stop doing it. Um, and okay, so Doug said no, stop being, well, okay. Doug is, Doug, I know you're a little bit short and abrupt, which I am too, so I appreciate you very much. Um, you know, I, I get it. Theodore, you're asking me five times, should I get the dog, should I get the dog? If you, if you are a responsible dog owner, if you've had dogs before and you can deal with a high drive dog, then you should. Now the problem is you go get the dog. It's not like you get to try the dog on for size. You, you, um, you, you gotta make that decision, right? It's a decision. You're going to walk in. It's kind of like an arranged marriage. So, you know, you're just going to go there. You're going to get the dog and take the dog home. Now, the worst thing you can do is if you're unsure, get the dog. Don't do it. Right. I would say if you maybe just recently lost a dog, you, you need a good home, you need um, to have a dog, you haven't had a dog or whatever, this would be a great dog. I would probably not get this dog if you had another male dog. I'm just saying, I mean, I would, but, but you probably shouldn't. But if you, are, you really have a lot of activity, you want to do something, this dog looks like a nice, nice, nice dog for me, to me, right? But, um, okay, so SSS, you have somebody looking. Good, please share the video. Um, share the contact information. Um, and thank you. If you love the goofy shirt, this shirt here, um, down in the store below, you can get these shirts. I've just, I just had them made. I just had them remade because I had some issues with, it actually looks kind of cool the way the paint is, is coming off. But anyway, um, anyway, so there you go. Okay, I'm just trying to read some of your comments. Um, I, I, Theodore, I don't know. know uh, if you're asking questions like, would it get along with a Swiss Shepherd? You might not be the right owner for the dog. What I'm really wanting someone to do is to see this video and see Rocky and say, you know what? 
I'm going to do some work with this dog. I'm going to dedicate some training. He already has his basics down, his recall, and all that stuff, which is obvious. If anybody had a Malinois for a couple of months, the dog's going to have the basics down. Um, you need to get your head wrapped around the idea if you want this dog. This is at the LA City Shelters, at the Harbor Shelter. I'm going to put the contact information down below. Please read the... Um, the, con the, the information in the video below to see if the dog is still available. It's still available as of today. And um, thank you, Mr. Ellis. That's very nice of you. Yeah, I do care. The thing is, I really, really do care. And when I saw this picture of this dog, it just broke my heart because it looks just like my Goofy. It looks exactly like Goofy, in fact. In fact, I've never seen a dog look more like Goofy unless it was, you know, one of Goofy's brothers, which, you know, Goofy's 10 now. And this dog's five to seven. I mean, it just breaks my heart. At that age, I was just training Goofy every day. I was loving on him. We, were, we, were, we, were, we had such a great thing going. And we still do. It's only gotten better. But the potential for this, this dog here is insane. It's amazing. If you're in L.A., you know somebody in L.A. who's interested in getting a Malinois because you've watched my videos, you've watched my YouTube channel, you remember my site, or whatever, Think about this dog. No, it's not a good um, dog for somebody who's looking, who's out of the home a lot, Josh. It's not, right? It's definitely not. Um, in, in, you know, by the way, you get this dog, you join up for my member section, you, 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 or just watch the YouTube channel, you've got tons and tons and tons of great resources for training this dog. You'll have the best trained dog in, in the world, you know? Um, Okay, Islam, you have an eight-month-old. That's great, you know. Um, started barking a lot. Well, okay, that's because he's sleeping on your balcony, right? The, he, he hears noises. So anyway, um, yeah, well, that's good, Milena. That's great when that happens, but um, that's very, very good. Okay, Augusto, I don't speak Spanish. If you could translate that, I would be happy to answer it for you, but I don't know. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in all over the world. This is a totally quick, impromptu video. I just, I'm trying it, right? I'm just trying it because I think this is a really good dog. I think he deserves a chance. Um, Rocky. <laughs> I'm just getting used to where I point on the screen because I don't have um, that much control over it. I'm, I'm learning the program. But anyway, um, so... Think about this dog, Rocky, at the shelter. I'm going, put, I'm going to finish this video, and I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to put all the contact information down below. This is a totally impromptu video. It has nothing to do with anything. I didn't take any questions. Um, just something for you guys to see that these dogs end up in shelters. It pisses me off to the nth degree when they do. It's completely ir irresponsible to have a dog for five to seven years and then dump them in a shelter because it's attacking your little dog after you brought an eight-week-old puppy into the mix. When you bring that third dog in, you have a pack. It's not a good idea. Husky is, I mean, it's a nice dog. It's a beautiful dog, but it's not going to be a good dog with something like this. Um, Steve, you know, I would offer somebody a free membership to um, the site, but I don't, like, I, I don't like to do that. I'm going to tell you why. Because if you need something free in order to give the dog a home, you're not the right person for the dog. I used to do things like, oh, if you adopt the dog, I'll give you a free training session. Um, or free food, or I'll pay the adoption fee. The, the, it bites people in the butt, because what happens is they do it for something else, and they should only do it for the reason of getting this dog. I understand what you're saying 100%. Um, I could easily do it, but I won't, because the training that I give is, is, is a super deal for the money. You need to take responsibility. And this is a big issue I have, is that people need to take responsibility. It means if you get this dog, what you need to do is you need to buy good food. You need to have money for vet care. You need to have money to pay the adoption. You need to have time to walk, train, and exercise this dog. You need to have the money to train this dog. You might need to hire a trainer. You can do my online membership. Um, but you must be responsible, and, uh, and, and that's why I don't offer free memberships. Like I said, it'd be easy for me to do it. But let's see if somebody can get out there and get the dog. If you get the dog, contact me, and we'll see about that. All right, so guys, thanks for tuning in. Just a quick, uh, a quick hello and a quick little vent on the Rocky here at the Harbor Shelter. I'm going to put his information out there. Pray to God that somebody good gets this dog, um, not just anybody who's going to go trying to adopt the dog. That will be a disaster. So anyway, thanks, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed today's uh, podcast that I posted earlier today. More content coming. See you later.